The great age for the building of railways in Cuba was the middle of the 19th century, when African slaves like these were used all over the island to cut the sugarcane. They brought it to factories like this one here in Central Australia, and from there the owners wanted to get the sugar as fast as possible to ports all around the island, from whence it could be exported all around the world. In flood conditions, rivers and roads were no use at all, so the railway was ideal. Spurred on by sugar production, isolated railway systems began to spring up all over Cuba. By the 1930s, they had linked up, making it possible to travel from one end of the island to the other. 